What's up guys, Axis here and today I'm going to be doing a new tutorial in Premiere Pro. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do advanced fade-ins and fade-outs fade in Premiere uh, or Audition, uh, which can be replicated in Audition, which is another Adobe program. So without further ado, let's just show you what we're going to be creating here. <laughs> can see the music has a really subtle fade in. Uh, you can only really hear the bass as it fades in, uh, which is what we're going to be going for here. And I'm going to be showing you how to only have the uh, trebles showing when you uh, fade in. So this comment was basically, this whole thing was suggested by uh, Tigger FX, and I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm a hypocrite, so I'm going to do it. Um, so yeah. I'm going to be doing this tutorial uh, and hopefully you guys learn something. It should be pretty short. But anyway, let's just get right into this. As you can see, I've chopped this clip up uh, so that the the kind of uh, the drop is at the, the right point of the intro. I'll just show you this without any, any post-production effects added to the audio. So there we go, it's really incomplete, uh, you really want that kind of fade out, otherwise nothing's really going to sound that good. But you kind of want, you want to stand out, you don't want to just use um, volume, because otherwise you're just going to be doing the same thing that everybody else is doing. So, uh, basically when I was messing about in Premiere I found Low Pass, which is a really awesome effect. If I just put this on and play it, you're automatically going to hear the uh, difference. want this for the entire thing. Uh, this is really good for adding to tutorials as well because it makes the uh, the audio behind your voice a lot less harsh and um, then you can also kind of hear your voice a lot clearer in the tutorial which is what I do often uh, but I don't really want to do this for this uh, particular uh, scenario. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put in this the uh, frequency down to 10 which is the lowest it can go. See if I try and drag this down it doesn't go any lower than 10. Uh, which should be low enough because low, as you can see if I play this, you're not going to hear anything at all. So this is this is uh, equivalent to basically turning the level down to minus two five five uh, decibels. So if I keyframe the hertz here, and then go to where I want the uh, the drop to happen, I'm going to put this up. I'm just going to type in a bunch of random numbers, and you'll get to the highest frequency, which is around. Uh, these points here. For some reason, if you drag it to uh, drag it slightly higher, it will go higher, but then it automatically goes back down, which is weird. But if I just replay this, you're going to hear the difference already. And now we're going to do the same with the end of the clip. We're going to try and make this quite long, as in the fade out. So if I click here just to add the keyframe to the end and then put this down to 10, you're going to hear the fade out as well. Remember to mess about with this effect as well because if you if you don't then you may have a fade out at a weird point and it won't sound right. It's just what I've found. So uh, now I'm going to be doing another effect which is called high pass which is a bit, pretty much the opposite of low pass. It's only going to have the trebles uh, and it's going to cut out the bass kind of sounds like when you're talking on the phone to someone. I mean, I don't really like this effect as much, but, um, you know, it's just a change for a fade out, I guess. So as you can see, I've duplicated this onto the bottom and soloed it. So what can we what can we what can we, what we do from here is we go to high pass. 
uh, and we drag high pass onto here and then we can delete low pass now that I've soloed this, this top one isn't going to be heard yet. the same thing you, uh, can be done if you just unselect solo and then mute the track above it it does exactly the same thing so if I just play this you're going to hear automatically the change sounds really weird, it sounds like if you've got the headphone uh, kind of just hanging out your ear, you don't really get the full kind of effect of the um, music this is why I don't really like this effect but if you guys uh, want to try something new I guess you could use this so for some reason this goes down to 9.2 if I just uh, hold shift and then drag it will go a lot quicker as you can see if I just hold normally it won't go as quickly that's just a little tip but it works in all Adobe programs uh, then click keyframe uh, in fact we're going to want to drag this keyframe out and then we're going to drag this up here I think this is the right way yeah so it phases the bass in but it's just not as subtle which is what I don't like so I'm going to go to roughly the end and do the same thing just so you can hear the full effect of this there we go really weird but I mean it is a pretty cool effect so you know I'm all up for ideas if you guys have any other suggestions for Premiere tutorials uh, then please post them in the comments uh, and then also if you guys could subscribe that would be awesome we're so close to 10k and when I reach 10k I've already got a bunch of tutorials lined up we're gonna be doing a complete week of modeling tutorials just um, from kind of simple tutorials at the start of the week to complicated tutorials at the end of the week with modeling in Cinema 4D. So if that's something you're interested in, remember to share this channel with whoever you know, you know. Uh, that would just be awesome. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.